Global disruptions and problems are necessary to humble the whole world before us and to bring the proud and arrogant hearts off their pedestals of honor, fame, glory, and power, and dominion. For truly those things only belong to the Lord and his global monarchs. For the Lord does not trust in anyone but these two, and puts no faith in anyone but these two, and depends on no one but these two. The Lord does not put his faith in any mortal on the planet, not even in his own people, for he knows the hearts of men and women, and they are easily swayed one way or another. But the Lord's heart does not sway back and forth. He is one solid rock and foundation from which all other foundations can be sure they are safe if they are built upon his true holy monarchs. But those nations who do not exalt King Peter and Queen Mary as Lord over them and their people will only crumble and fall to pieces and break apart and sink and be forgotten forever. They will be cut from the Lord's nation and the Lord's heart forever. They will be humiliated and trodden upon and filled with plagues of Egypt and laid waste and be made a spectacle of before the whole world. They will be shaken and they will fall and the cloud of destruction will rise higher than ever. And in this way, the Lord will raise up his global monarchs as the conquerors of that great and powerful nation. For there are two ways for his global monarchs to reign over the earth, through shepherding and guiding and counseling souls, or through destroying them and reigning with a rod of iron over them, with fierceness and ruthlessness until those nations are no more. For I, the Lord, am judge, and I am in my queen, speaking through her to all of you in a way that you cannot forget, as the world is laid waste before us. For I am your judge, your jury, and your executioner, and I judge and make war against every nation who refuses to make peace with mine. I, the Lord, set the terms for your existence, and I make calamity and create woes and unleash the whirlwind of divine destruction upon the whole world because you chose to bury my fire and my and bury my spirit and bury my will and bury my body and for that you will be buried and your bodies will be burned and your human spirits will be laid waste before me and your godless ways will be terminated forever and blotted out forever and joy will come into my house once again and peace and order will be established through my kingdom for you are all living under my domain and my kingdom and you are all subject to our rules and divine law for this is the ark of the covenant the new and everlasting covenant and it and is a permanent sign to my promise to my people that I made during the time of Noah and after the flood waters. This is the covenant of promise and hope and joy and life and truth and eternal wisdom for those who seek her way diligently. But this is the covenant of woe, death, destruction, pain, and hellfire for those who refuse her way. For her way is my way and her path is my path and her life is my life and her hands and feet and hearts and flesh are mine. For we are one and the same Lord, not divided in any way. With our global monarch in the flesh, King Peter, we rule in spirit. And that was posted on April 30, 2023. And so, the floodwaters and problems never stop for people who are living against God. They have always been there to take out the wicked until they are no more. And for pride is like a heavy anchor that the wicked tie to their own feet. 
and they sink and drown because of their refusal to acknowledge God in the flesh. Anyone who wants to stop drowning in their sins and choking on their own vomit will humble themselves and acknowledge the two witnesses publicly. Turn that pride into pride for God. Proud of your God and your father and your mother. Proud of him and his power and abilities, his abilities to eradicate the wicked and renew everything with his word, with his fresh and most pure spirit. Thank you for watching.